Advanced Toolbar Buttons is now a transparent floating bar, instead of separate buttons. It has a visual aid function, to configure its size and position on the screen. Buttons are added from a window, where they are activated, and positioned within the bar. It is possible to create presets with the button configuration and loaded via key mapping. The button bar can be shown and hidden using the rack button, which can also be mapped to a key. A function has been added to reset the overwritten automation automatically each time the transport is started and stopped. A button has been added to assign track color to clips. Two buttons have been added to switch between two color themes. Changing the theme is done by automating the mouse and keyboard. Other improvements are that now when using a button, the focus returns to the live window. And the transpose control and sense for audio clips now works the same as in the clip editing view. Other new buttons have also been added as a button to duplicate the selected clip and automatically trigger the new clip. A button to duplicate the loop of the selected media clip. And other buttons like freeze track, fold unfold all tracks, expand the clip editing view, insert an empty media clip into the time selection, and others for various actions of the file and edit menus. Advanced toolbar buttons now interact with some functions of the fancy menu bar device. The buttons that automatically hide fancy menu bar when you minimize or maximize the live window also act on advanced toolbar buttons. Check the change along and new PDF manual on the advanced toolbar buttons website to see all changes and new features.